But actually, I'm I'm nervous for a different reason. When I, when I came here, that was only two days ago. <laughs> um, when I came here two days ago and talked to you, you were just an audience. But now you are like a bunch of people I know, I admire like more than any bunch of people I've ever met. And without being too corny, I truly love you all. It's too this hard. Is, this is the greatest. I love you. This is the greatest group of people I've ever been around in my life. You are totally fucking amazing. Um, so I thought I would just close out with a, a few things. So first of all, just to say, I, I've just been uh, like really awestruck by the things you guys are all doing. I haven't talked to everybody, but I've talked to a ton of you, and every single person I've talked to, i found what you're doing inspiring, and I want you to leave here and just kick some ass. Um, I, if I had time, I'd write little songs for all of you, but not just for Canada. But, but really, like, you know, leave here and do, I'm not gonna sing it, I think that would be. Maybe at the end. So, so, um, all right. Let's see. Did I lose it? No, no, I got it. Let's go. Who knew Canada? Open science is so grand. Sharing your work is what Canucks demand. All papers must be published with CC. Open data is also key. From far and wide, who Canada, we stand on guard for free. Please open up, it's very good for thee. Who Canada, we stand on guard for free. Who Canada, we stand on guard. So I thought, in, in addition to just uh, conferring the ritualistic blessing on you as alumni of OpenCon, which I will do at the end, um, I thought I would I would just leave us with a little bit of a of a of a mission, right? So obviously the most important thing for all of you to do is to go just execute on the stuff you're already planning on doing. So. In addition to that, I thought so, a bunch of things came up at this meeting, and, and I'm not going to be able to touch on them all, but a few things sort of particularly inspired me about things that we can all try to do collectively when we go back to our institutions, our countries, and, 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 and wherever we're going to end up. Um, so these are kind of things I'd like us to make 2016 the year of for, for open con audience. And the first thing, somewhat chronologically with how they were introduced, I want 2016 to be the year of Aaron's Pledge. Okay? It is, it is a real achievement to make me feel like I'm not living up to openness. But Aaron has made me feel like I am not living up to openness. And, and I will say right now, I'm gonna go back and redouble or re-triple or re-quadruple all of my efforts to try to live up to Aaron's example and to Aaron's pledge. And really, it's an amazing, inspiring thing to do. And I want us all to try to do this, not just in our own, in our own existences, but to go back to our institutions and tell people about the pledge and tell people about Aaron and the fact that, that, this, that, we've been, that she's been so successful in doing this. She is an example for everybody to inspire them to live up to these principles. So. And I want to highlight some of the things, right? Aaron is embody, the pledge Aaron made embodies open, not just open access, not just open education, but openness in all of its important things, including open data and making open code. And really, this is the way not just we all should live, but everybody should live. So let's go tell people about the pledge, give them shit and make them take it. When people aren't living up to them, uh, you know, criticize them. Let's really make people know about it, to be inspired by it, and to and to live it. And come back here next year, and or 
presumably not here, but <laughs> metaphorical here, and talk about it. Okay, so one other thing, and this maybe is going to seem weird coming from um, someone from Kloss, but the other thing that I was personally inspired by was the various things people are doing to get beyond um, APCs in the open access world, right? APCs were always a bad compromise forced upon us by a bad system. But we've seen in the examples we heard about publishing in Latin America and from what Martin Eve talked about that APCs are not the only way to do it. We are smarter, we are better than, than using a model that is exclusive and expensive and keeps people shut out of the world. Let's take those examples and tell people about them. Tell our librarians, tell our publishers, tell everybody about these different things, and let's try to make the year that the, the, the APC was deprecated. Yeah. An issue that's particularly important to me, and didn't get, it got a little bit of play here, but maybe could have, could have gotten more, but I think it's, it's vital for everything that we do, is to try to change the way that people are evaluated in science. And this is a humongous problem, right? It's a humongous problem that's very difficult to fight if you think about it as, I have to change the system, I have to change the way people are evaluated for tenure and grants. That's gonna drive you crazy, you're not gonna feel like you can do anything. But all of us are in positions every year where we're evaluating people, where we're in a room where people are being evaluated. Do not let people use bogus, outdated, non-open models for evaluating people. Speak up when you're in the room. Say, hey, I don't care where they publish their work. What did they do? I don't care what institution they're at. Tell me what they're doing. Let's all make the commitment to go back and just erase this, I would say, the most destructive thing we have in science and the thing that is most standing in the way of the promotion of openness broadly across the world. Okay. Another thing is that, that, you know, that, that came up a couple of times and I think is really important is we are all in a position to try to build the bridge between open education and open access and open data. To try to recognize that these are not three different things, these are all one thing that we can all work for. And again, not all of us are teachers, most of you are students, but you're also in situations where you're developing, using resources. Let's try to be creative about the ways that we fuse open access and open education. And to make this very practical, I think we should all commit to go create Wikipedia pages in the fields that we are experts in that use, that use open access publishing to fuel the, the information that we're sharing with the world. It will help in education, with, and we create these with a the mind of using them in courses. They'll help in education. It'll also help to show people how these things are valuable. One of the challenges we have in open access is showing people why it's so important beyond just giving access to people information. If we do this, it will serve both the purpose of, of creating a stronger open education resources for the world, but also make it clear to people why open access is so important. Uh, did I have any others? Uh, okay, what? What's that? Okay, I got this. Okay, so, um, I really don't have any other big things to say. I just want to finish with a couple of, of, of sort of somewhat platitudinous things, but I think they're important. And, and it's a message you closed with last year, it's a message that I use today, and I want to continue it, which is really just don't worry about asking anybody whether you should be doing any of these things. You guys are not like the future of open access and open data and open education and open general. You are its present. You are now, and, and let's, let's just do all these things. Remember, I forget who said it, it's probably 20 people say it. Never ask for permission, never ask for, for anybody to give you their blessing. Let's just do stuff. I promise, next year, I will absolve you of everything you've done in this, in this meeting. So, with that, I would like to finish by, uh, by evoking the authority granted by me by the King of Belgium and by the very, very uh, uh, poorly understood and known Creative Commons graduation license to declare you all alumni of OpenCon. And I hope make 2016 the best open year ever and I'll see you next year.